In 1857, the famous composer Giuseppe Verdi debuted his newest opera on the Italian stage. A powerful tale of family conflict woven into political upheaval, opera audiences know and cherish today. Simone Boccanegra. Prologue. The Introduction. Welcome to 14th century Genoa, the Middle Ages in this European Republic. The opera opens with Paolo Albiani, a working class man. He explains that Genoa will soon be holding an election to choose the next doge, the leader of the government. Paolo says his choice for a candidate is another working class man named Simone Bocanegra. He rallies a crowd to support as Bocanegra enters. At first, Bocanegra says he has no interest in being the doge until the quick-thinking Paolo argues that if Bocanegra were to take the high-ranking position, he might have a better chance of being with the woman he loves. Bocanegra is in love with a woman named Maria, who has just given birth to their daughter out of wedlock. Due to their class differences, her aristocratic father, Jacopo Fiesco, prohibited the two from marrying. After the birth, Fiesco locked Maria away in their palace. The daughter was left in the care of a nurse. Bocanegra imagines that if he were doge, Fiesco would finally respect him and allow the couple to be together again as a family with their daughter. As the crowd celebrates, Fiesco enters, overcome with sadness. Unheard by the group, he sings his grief to the audience. Maria has just died. Bocanegra sees Fiesco across the crowd and quickly goes to tell him about his candidacy for Doge. He tells him he hopes this election will allow them to settle their differences. Fiesco ignores this hopeful speech and, in haste, demands to be given his grandchild. Bocanegra painfully reveals that the child has recently gone missing. Suspicious of Fiesco's motivations, Bocanegra enters the palace and discovers Maria's body. As he begins to grieve, the crowd pours in to celebrate Simone Bocanegra as the new doge. Act One. 25 years have passed since the prologue. During the past two decades as doge, Bocanegra has been harsh on his enemies, exiling political opponents. One of these people kicked out of Genoa was Maria's father, Fiesco who has since adopted an orphan child named Amelia. Instead of accepting this banishment, Fiesco has decided to stay in Genoa under a fake identity, Andrea Grimaldi, so that he can secretly plot against the Doge with Bocanegra's other enemies. Fiesco, as Andrea Grimaldi, works alongside a young man named Gabriele Adorno, whose family was killed under Bocanegra's rule. Gabriele and Amelia are in love, though she disapproves of his plotting against the Doge. At the top of the act, Amelia begs Gabriele not to do anything that could get him in trouble. As she makes her case, the couple hears that the Doge is coming to their palace. Amelia fears that the Doge is coming to force her to accept a marriage proposal from his counselor, Paolo. She tells Gabriele that he must ask her father, Fiesco, to allow them to be married so she can refuse Paolo's proposal. Gabriele exits to find Fiesco just before Bocanegra arrives. Just as Amelia expected, the doge relays Paolo's marriage proposal to her. She refuses, explaining her love is promised to another man, though she does not say who because she knows of the doge's dislike of Gabriele. Bocanegra accepts her refusal and tells her she may do as she wishes. Amelia thanks him for his kindness, revealing she had a poor start in life. She tells him she was orphaned and that all she has of her birth parents is a small photo of her mother she keeps in her locket. Bocanegra realizes instantly that the woman in the picture is his late love, Maria, meaning Amelia is his lost daughter. The two rejoice for finally having found one another. Amelia, however, cannot tell Gabriele of the news because of the doge's role in his parents' death. She decides to keep her newly discovered parentage a secret for the time being. Back at the palace, Bocanegra tells Paolo that Amelia has refused his marriage proposal. 
Paolo is humiliated and plots to have Amelia kidnapped. The night Paolo has ordered the kidnapping, the Doge holds a council meeting. Suddenly, an angry mob of workers rushes in, holding Gabriele and Fiesco, the latter of which they still believe to be Grimaldi. The crowd shouts in anger that Gabriele has killed a man. Amidst the chaos, Gabriele cries out his explanation. The man he killed was attempting to abduct Amelia. Further, it was a high-ranking official who sent the kidnapper. He points to Bocanegra, saying he believes the Doge ordered the kidnapping because he wanted Amelia to marry his counselor, Paolo. Red with rage, Gabriele rushes to attack Bocanegra, but not before Amelia, who has run in pleading for peace, stops him. She tries to describe the attempted abduction, but the mob fights again, drowning out her voice. To silence the crowd, Bocanegra orders Gabriele and Fiesco to be arrested for the night while he sorts out what happened. He correctly suspects Paolo as the likely culprit because of his recent rejection, but he withholds from announcing that just yet. As the act ends, the Doge requests the crowd, including Paolo, profess a curse to the culprit. Act Two. Still bitter over his failed proposal and now furious at Bocanegra, Paolo brainstorms how to escape being found guilty of the crime. He decides to kill the Doge by poisoning his water. He bargains with the imprisoned Fiesco and Gabriele. If they help him in these plans, he will allow them to escape. Worn down and tired, they refuse. Not taking no for an answer, Paolo spins a lie to Gabriele that Amelia is having an affair with the Doge. Just then, Amelia enters to visit the two men. Gabriele berates her with his jealousy and rage, though she denies the claims against her, still not revealing to him that the Doge is her father. Later, Amelia confesses to Bocanegra that the man she loves is Gabriele. Despite his anger, Bocanegra tells his daughter that he will pardon Gabriele for his crimes and allow the marriage if the young man stops conspiring against him. Amelia thanks her father and exits to share the news. Bocanegra takes a sip from his water and soon falls asleep. Gabriele enters with a knife in hand and approaches the sleeping doge. Before he can attack, Amelia re-enters and stops him. Bocanegra wakes up to the commotion and reveals the truth. Amelia is his daughter. Gabriele begs for Amelia's forgiveness. Shouting is heard from the streets outside. Paolo has begun a revolt against the Doge. Gabriele vows to fight on behalf of the Doge. And in return, Bocanegra officially gives him his blessing to marry his daughter. Act Three. The uprising against the Doge has died, and Paolo has been sentenced to death for his role in the organizing. On his way to execution, the devious Paolo reveals to Fiesco that he has not failed his attempt because he poisoned the Doge's water. Still holding his resentment against Bocanegra, Fiesco finds the Doge dying from the poison. In his final moments, Bocanegra finally recognizes Fiesco and tells him that Amelia is his daughter, meaning she is also Fiesco's long-lost granddaughter. The newly married Amelia and Gabriele enter, and the two older men tell them about their recent discovery. Before he dies, the Doge names Gabriele as his successor. Bocanegra takes his last breath as the curtains come to a mournful close on this somber yet tender opera.